We're now ready to conduct the test. Turn on the duct blaster fan by slowly turning the fan control clockwise. As the fan speed increases, the duct pressure displayed on channel A should also increase. Continue to increase the fan speed until the duct pressure, shown on channel A, is close to 25 pascals. Somewhere between 20 and 30 is good. Don't waste time adjusting the fan to a test pressure of exactly 25 pascals. This is unnecessary because the specialized pressure flow at 25 mode will automatically adjust the measured total leakage rate to the test pressure. Once you're done adjusting the fan, channel B will now be displaying the measured total duct leakage rate in CFM. In this demonstration, the total duct leakage measurement is 86 CFM using ring 2 on the duct blaster fan. You should write the leakage measurement down for later entry into program forms or software. A sample duct leakage test form can be found in Appendix C of your duct blaster manual. Once you've determined the total leakage rate for the duct system, you can now estimate the leakage area of the duct system in square inches. This is done by pressing the units button three times while the duct blaster system continues to operate. In this demonstration, the gauge indicates that the duct system has a leakage area of approximately 16 square inches. The leakage area is a useful way to visualize the physical size of all the leaks in the duct system being tested. While you are conducting a total leakage test using the pressure flow at 25 mode, the DG700 display will signal if you should try using a different flow ring for the test. Consider this example. With ring 1 installed on the fan, we adjust the duct blaster fan to achieve the test pressure of approximately 25 pascals on channel A. At this point, the word LO now flashes on channel B along with the leakage estimate. By displaying LO, the gauge is signaling that you are trying to measure an airflow that is below the calibrated range for the flow ring currently installed on the fan. When this happens, you should install a smaller flow ring that is more appropriate for the fan flow being measured. In the case shown here, the operator should try conducting the test with ring 2 rather than ring 1. Now let's look at a different example of how the gauge signals you to change flow rings. Suppose you have installed ring 1 on the fan and even though the duct blaster fan is running at full speed, you are not able to achieve at least 5 pascals of duct pressure on channel A. In this case, the gauge will display a dashed line on channel B, indicating that you should install a larger flow ring or remove the flow rings entirely to generate more fan flow. More fan flow will allow you to increase the pressure in the duct system. In this example, the operator should try conducting the test with no flow rings installed rather than ring 1 in order to generate more fan flow and increase the test pressure. Remember, if you change the flow ring on the fan, be sure to change the configuration setting on the gauge using the config button to match the newly installed flow ring. Finally, one of the most effective ways to find leaks in the duct system is to use a theatrical fog machine while pressurizing the ducts. With the registers and grills temporarily sealed off, the fog machine is used to inject a non-toxic theatrical fog through the duct blaster fan and into the duct system. The theatrical fog is pushed out of the leaks in the ductwork, visually demonstrating the location and extent of the duct leaks. Use of a fogger helps crews find hidden leak sites in attics and crawl spaces, and it makes a dramatic presentation for homeowners and builders. When using a fog machine, inject the fog stream toward the edge of the fan housing and not directly onto the duct blaster fan motor. Remember to always clean off any fog residue from the duct blaster motor, housing, and flow sensor when you're done. Theatrical fog machines are available for many local theatrical supply, electronics, and hardware outlets. Thank you for watching this video demonstration of the Minneapolis Duct Blaster System. If you have any questions on how to use your duct blaster system or on other products sold by the Energy Conservatory, we'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you.